Hey Scribblers, another update on my work in process vlog. It's been a crazy month for me. I've had some family emergencies, I've had some book emergencies, and of course through it all I am going to work. So I'm actually excited to share with you guys what has been going on with What The Hex and to a lesser degree, Strange Fruit. Now I'll update you on Strange Fruit first. I am still outlining, still going the process of deciding what I want in this book. It's just such a heavy book for me. I can't work on it too much at a time. Like I've been researching Jim Crow laws and it's just, it's been a bit of a slog for me. So it's still happening, it's just slow going. But that's, that's mostly the update for Strange Fruit. Now what the heck has gone through a lot more. I decided to go with the wild idea of having a few alpha readers reading as I wrote. I had already gotten about 20,000 words written on the story out of my planned about 50,000. And I was like, why not have people starting to read and give me notes so I don't have to wait for it after I've actually completed the story. And in some ways I regret doing it and in some ways I'm actually really grateful I did. In order to get alpha readers I participated in something called CP Match on Twitter. It is a great hashtag that I think happens only every once in a while. Everybody posts like pictures of their book and you comment if you would like to see more, move it to DMs and start like trading pages. I met a few wonderful people through it, some of which I am still going to work with as I go through this craziness of my book. But I am so happy I participated. Now the thing is, I did start to have a few people read the book. And they point out something that like in the back of my head I was already fearing but I didn't want to really admit to yet. But there was no conflict and no tension happening. Everything that I had planned for like the big stuff was all in the later half of Act 2 and Act 3. Those 20k were of almost nothing happening, just like scenes. Things, things were happening, the main character was learning things, but there was no conflict, no tension, nothing to keep pulling the reader. So I did what anybody would do. I scraped it all. And when I say I scraped it all, I mean I scraped it all. Not just those 20,000 words, I scraped the outline. Like I sat and re-outlined this entire book and in some ways it's almost a completely new book. There's characters that weren't around before, there's situations that have evolved, the magic has become a much more prevalent part of the book instead of just background. And I'm honestly really happy with what I've done. I, I ended up completely taking out like the first two chapters to move up her discovering she has magic to chapter one so that it just starts off on a bang and I'm just I'm really feeling a lot more confident in the book so I've been starting to rewrite it and I think it's going well there there's been some parts of the old version that I've been able to pull and repurpose for the new version. So I am about 10,000 words into it so far with adding the old parts with the new parts. Today is May 30th so my original deadline is actually tomorrow. So of course I, I had to change the deadline. I am now aiming to finish this draft by July 27th so then I can have 
the full draft done before I go back to work for the school year. And I, I think I can do it. I'm excited. I'm pumped about what I'm writing now. And I just really love this new ideas. I will, I will admit it was kind of scary, like starting from scratch. I sat for at least a couple weeks, like too scared to start. Like what if I mess this up again? What if like, I'm just not the one meant to tell this story. Even though I love the characters, I love this story, I was scared. But I eventually had to push myself out of that fear and start writing. And I'm so glad that I did because then I just got reinvigorated. I got to really put words down. And I'm, I'm excited about what is coming out so far. The main gist of the story of it being about friendship falling apart and keeping secrets is still the same except now we also have the underlining theme of realizing you are letting things change who you are and deciding like who you want to be and what you are willing to do to be that person so i can't wait to like start sending these to alpha readers again i want to have like a few more chapters done before i start contacting my alpha readers again but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good so that's it for now i will keep you updated on what's going on if you have any specific questions about my story or my writing process let me know in the comments below i will make videos about those specific things and let me know what you're working on. What is your process like? Have you ever had to completely start over? Was it as scary for you as it was for me? Let me know. And if you like this video and the others in the series, please give this video a like so I know that you do want to continue hearing about my process. And I will keep writing and I want you to keep writing. So until next time, see you scribblers.